At number 5, we got returning NCAA champion Johnny Hendricks versus 3 time Big Ten champion Ryan Trella. Hendricks was the aggressor in the beginning of the match and had a one point lead up until the end of the second where he got cradled and pinned by Ryan Trella. However, the pin was not called due to time running out and later Hendricks would come back from a three point deficit to win the match. And he likes targeting that right leg of Sorella and he'll score again. Win it. Whoa, two, he gets and it. He's killed. Whoa. He runs out of time. Whoa. Oh my. And a warning on Green for stalling. Got two. There it is. Times waster. If he can keep it tight. Oh, Hendricks may try to rubber arm out like that. Now he needs to finish. Oh, wow. With only three seconds to go. At number four, we got Logan Sieber's first NCAA title, which was also one of his most controversial, as at the end of the match, with Sieber having one point lead, Oliver got in on a shot and had him on his hips with both legs secured. However, was not ruled a two. Shortly after this match, however, reviews were added to the NCAA championships. Oliver, able to get away. Great hip heist when Oliver no, went out of bounds. Sieber looking for the takedown. At number three, the only match not from the NCAA Finals, this one from the NCAA All-Star Duels versus Kerry Colat against Mark Ironside. Colat, known for his first period dominance, was dominating up until the third period where Ironside came back to win the match. Colat's pretty tough and it See, came out. you think about it, if Ironside can keep the pressure There's on Colat and not in. fall too far behind, Oh, oh, Ironside can't, can't do that. Under a minute where it was before. Well, I won a lot of matches with, uh, you know, as far as... Uh, Got to tell. He's going to tell Cole out if he can. He couldn't keep it, and he lost the reversal. Six to two now. The escape at the end there is to Ironside at six to three, and he's in front of the hometown. There he goes on the heel pick, and I think you're right, Tim. Six to five. Here we go. And he's going to let Colot go. Here we go. He's behind. And it is Shake. How about that? He win here because he can get the stall. And on the leg. Can he finish it? Can he beat that wizard? He needs to pull it up. He needs to finish it. He doesn't have it yet. He does now. At number two, in this battle between friends, Dake looked to become the first ever four-time NCAA champion in four different weight classes. Although Taylor got a quick takedown in the beginning of the match, Dake responded with his own and then in the second period got an escape point as well. In the third, Taylor shows bottom and Dake rode him out for most of the time, securing a riding point for himself. When Taylor finally got out, the score was 5-3 with the riding point locked in. Taylor tried his best, but Dake was able to hold on and win the match. Oh, this looks so uncomfortable for Taylor right now. He's got his head out. He can turn in right there. He's going to get the two points. There it is. Dake takes the lead. Nearly lost control. There's an escape point. Escape Riding time is up. Caution green. Caution green. Caution on Taylor. Hold on, guys. Stay in there. You have just witnessed history for the first time ever. We have a four-time champ in four different weight classes. Oh.